Excitement fills the air on the campus of Black River Technical College, and it's all thanks to the Rice Upshaw and William Looney families who donated two historical structures from the 1800s. BRTC brought the buildings back to life. The incredible restoration was all made possible through Project REACH, or Researching Early Arkansas Cultural Heritage, funded by the Arkansas Natural and Cultural Resources Council. Located on the banks of Eleven Point River in Randolph County, Arkansas, these historical structures take you back to a different era. In addition to the educational value of the project, it's hoped it will bring tourism to the area and give a glimpse into what frontier life was like over a hundred years ago. And that's what makes me hopeful for this country is that if we can look at things, we can learn. To mark National Historical Heritage Month, crowds came to Randolph County to explore what is known as the William Looney Tavern and the Rice Upshaw House. Even descendants of Rice came. Historian Gary Barker broke down what education was like in the frontier era and even spoke about a time when slavery was an integral part of local life. I have learned, and I hope others have too. Barker even demonstrated how to herd oxen. He says it's so easy, even a child can do it. People got to take pictures and hang out with the animals. Okay, let's go take a look. Groups walked the halls almost as if stepping into a historical time machine. Guides explained how things were made and how they played an important part in day-to-day -day life. They knew how to build it out of the range, out of the floodplain apparently. It's called a turkey feathers. That's a way of helping to keep water out. They used a tool called a foot adz. You can see the chinking. The process is called chinking and daubing. They used whatever they had. Inside, you could view items donated from the original time period. How would you like to sleep in bed instead of having the springs when you had the rope? A blacksmith was also on hand to show how to make nails with just a simple iron rod. In a small community, just about everybody would rely on the blacksmith. Where's your nail and build your house? You could even hear from a log specialist who helped restore the two historical structures. So I was actually was kind of working on toys that I made when I was a kid. I used to call them a G all stick. And you can see here, the kids are having a field day with his handcrafted wooden toys. All in all, Historical Heritage Month was a true success. Even descendants of rice came.